This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. What's up, what's up, everybody? Ricky Whitmer here, along with fellow man child, Johnny Carlin. Everyone wants to taste me strawberry schmiggles. And we do have strawberry schmiggles. Right Johnny here. was able to bring it in from Comic-Con. You've had it C2E2. for a while. C2E2. Same thing. Is no. it the same thing? Not the same thing. C2E2 is a type of Comic-Con. Comic-Con it's is not, actually a thing. It's not Wizard World. It's not San Diego Comic-Con. But C2E2 is a con where comics are there and... Ooh, look at me trying to break it down and make, let's it, be completely make my honest. argument valid. If I went to Wizard World and then I went to C2E2, they have their differences, but the same people are there. Some of the same people are there. It's not all the same, but you get what I'm saying. It's a type of Comic-Con. That's what I'm going at, Mr. Johnny Carlick over there. But thank Chicago you guys for joining. This is a very rough intro. Entertainment like, Expo. If you're new coming it's into this one, it's more like a mommy just hit daddy at the dinner table. It's like, oh, okay. Okay, this is how this podcast is going to start. But what? welcome into the Rick and Johnny podcast. This is where we talk about everything under the two nerdy suns for you guys, talking a little comics, talking a little superheroes, movies, everything in the entertainment realm. We got a jam-packed show for you guys today. Going to be talking about the Incredible Hulk with Avengers, a kind of theory that are we going more towards Professor Hulk in the MCU? Then we're going to look at Wonder Woman, what we expect from Cheetah. We got some more information on what that character will be in Wonder Woman 1984. And then we're going to wrap up the show looking at Stranger Things. It is coming to Telltale Games. And we're going to give our thoughts and reactions of what that would be like. Before we get into everything, though, this is where I got to do a little bit of housekeeping for you guys. Number one, make sure to check out patreon.com backslash Podcast. I'm sure you can help support the channel. And if you want to... If you support us at the $10 tier, you can be a guest on the Rick and Johnny podcast each and every month. You are at that tier. Also, make sure to check out our store. That link is down below in the description. Neither of us are wearing the MVP shirt today, but you can get a beautiful Most Valuable Podcast t-shirt. Dave, the model, he's modeling it for you on the store. Go and check it out. You can also get the store on mostvalablepodcast.com along with everything for MVP each and every day. And then last but not least, if you're on Apple iTunes, you're on Pod, Apple Podcasts, Make sure to go rank the Rick and rate rank the Rick and Johnny podcast five stars and then write a little something, something about why other people should check out the podcast. But Johnny, let's get into our first topic. We are looking at Avengers. We're looking at Hulk. So I want to ask you with the kind of the arc that we've seen mm -hmm. for Hulk so far, do you think the theory of us going to a Professor Hulk? Is that where we're ultimately headed in the MCU? Um, I'm not saying it's impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying it's very possible that they're going to emulate a type of Professor Hulk, not maybe exactly Professor Hulk from there, or possibly go nearing a Grey Hulk. But mm -hmm. I, I want to note this, that we they're going off this from the picture from... Event, like an yeah. Avengers poster. Where he's got, he's more, he's suited like up. He's literally up. suited up. He's suited up all the way. The face is more recognizable. It looks like his banner compared to just being the Hulk. Mm -hmm. And he looks more civilized in the um, picture that is in the Screen Rant article that'll be down below in the description for you guys. See, my thought about that mm -hmm. with the suit thing, um, that doesn't necessarily mean he's going... That's not really a 100% indication, oh, hey, this is leaning towards Professor Hulk. Mm -hmm. Not saying it's not a possible thing, just like there's other things from the movies that kind of lead to that. Going off of that is not a great... Because um, maybe they've changed up a little bit more so that, mm -hmm. hey, Bruce, you kind of have a problem every time of yeah. a suit once you change back mm -hmm. being naked. Hey, this is a great way to solve that problem. A full body suit mm -hmm. that stretches to Hulk size. Well, and the thing that I, I'm kind of on the side of after I read the Screen Rants article, mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I could see them go more towards a Professor Hulk oh, kind I'm, of I'm not way. arguing that. It's just there's other things in the... Mm -hmm. MCU. You're saying that the suit is not the reason why they're going not to the go professor. Like, Hulk. don't use the suit yeah. as the reasoning. Use it as part of one of the arguments. The reasoning but, for oh. the reasoning for me and why I think we're actually kind of head. We're already headed that way. Yeah, is 
Because like it says in the article, you already have a three like movie arc. Where yeah. It started in Thor Ragnarok or basically really, let's be honest, it started before Thor Ragnarok. It technically started in what Age of Ultron it was yeah. when Hulk was just like, "Bye deuces, I'm out of here." Well, even and when he flew uh, out of there on a Quinjet. Yeah. And it's like made the decision to actually leave. Well, and that was one thing I never thought about until today reading the article where I'm like, "Wow." You know, it is true that, like, Banner, it's always been like, well, I'll hulk out, and the animal comes out, and all you are is an animal when I need you, and then when I don't need you, go away. He's a weapon. He's a weapon. He's a tool that you use Mm -hmm. for your own benefit instead of an actual other person, another kind of very Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde um, going on with the Hulk, which, let's be honest, the Hulk's based off of that. But, I mean, it starts there where I was like, wow, I didn't get that. Watching uh, Civil War, or Age of Ultron, it was, um, where it's basically that was the Hulk making his own decision of I'm going to shut off these communicators. I'm just going to fly away. Yeah, they had nothing to do with Bruce Banner making that decision. That decision was all the Hulk. Mm-hmm. And then when he goes to Sakar, this is where we're into Thor Ragnarok. Then it's much of a I am going to suppress you just like you suppress me. Let's see how you like it. Yeah, basically. And that's where you get a little bit of, over the time on Sakaar, Hulk learns how to talk. He's more um, vocal than he was before. Instead of just Hulk smash, he's actually talking in roaring. some sense. With like small amount of words and lots of roaring. Yes. It's now like, hey, he makes full, almost full sentences. Hulk- Hulk like big burning fire, Thor like small puny fire. Like small smoldering fire. <laughs> small you use the smolder- word smoldering. I would have said puny fire. Exactly. If I was the Hulk. But I mean, no, it's just that, puny god. So that's what you get there. And then Infinity War was the next side of it. So Hulk gets the crap beat out. Well, first he goes back to Banner in Ragnarok. Comes back because he real like the Hulk actually realizes. Well, Brandon realizes I, that we need to work together, type thing. Yeah, but it's also the Hulk could have done what he did in Infinity War and said no, um, but he didn't. He mm-hmm. came, and the thing I didn't realize when I was watching the movie until the article kind of brought it up is when he hulked out like on the Rainbow Bridge, mm-hmm. Hulk basically waited until the last possible second. Kind of like a, maybe a little message to Bruce of like, hey, think about what will happen if I'm not here. Yeah. Like, well, you no. would have hit the water and died if I was not no, here no. to save you. He, he hit the bridge yeah. and bounced for a second, like, uh-huh. basically dead. And then he became the Hulk. It's yeah. Like, it's like, you'd be dead without me. It's like, a, that's, that's what you get type thing. It's like, yeah. don't fuck with me again. And then we get in the third one of after he gets beat <laughs> to smithereens by Thanos. Beat the shit out of him. It's... Well, after uh, Heimdall sends him on his way through the Bifrost, he goes, well, screw this. Hits, makes impact, and then immediately goes to Bruce. Yeah. Like, I'm gone. I'm done. I saved your life so you didn't die by hitting the staircase. Impact, yeah. But I'm not going to help you from here on out. And we even see like, that. Like, I'm out. I got my ass kicked. We Well, not just that. It's more of, it. like, for me, it was more of the thought in Hulk's head of, how many times am I going to get my, not my ass kicked, but how many times am I going to be just around when you need me to fight? Like, because on Sakaar, that was more of Hulk's choice. Like, Bruce Banner wasn't trying to become the champion. But even after that, you only use me when Hela is throwing everything to shit and you need me, you need my muscle. And then you need my muscle when Thanos attacks. See, my what I got it from the Hulk when it came to mm-hmm. the movie, it was less about that. You're talking about Infinity War. Infinity War, yeah. yeah. I got less because <laughs> they're all movies. Sorry, I, <laughs> when it comes to Infinity War, it was I think it was less of that because mm-hmm. Hulk likes to fight. Yeah, that's what Hulk is. He's rage monster. He mm-hmm. likes to fight most of the time. It's it's the way of getting it out. But mm-hmm. my thought with that was more of he was he spent two years fighting in a battle arena. That he never got beat. Not mm-hmm. even by Thor, which, thanks Grandmaster, you're so a fucking cheater. So it kind of inflates his ego is what you're saying? Inflates his ego. And then all of a sudden, yeah, in a sense, it inflates mm-hmm. his ego, thinks he's the best per- best fighter around. Then he just gets his ass handed to him mm-hmm. by Thanos. 
Because let's be completely honest, too, and this is another side. It's like side, a shell shock. Well, this is also another side theory. Yeah. There are people who believe if you look at the Sakaar and the um, faces on the mm. um, Grandmaster's Palace, many believe that where the position of Beta Ray Bill's, um, his statue and his faces, yeah. many believe that Excuse me. he was the champion before Hulk. Yeah. Because when Hulk gets a Sakaar, he's got to to become the champion. Yeah, to he beat had to the beat champion. the champion. Some that's another side theory of some people think. Oh well, he beat Beta Ray Bill because Beta Ray Bill was the champion. I mean, yeah, that's not proven, but that's something that it's a if it is there. true, holy shit, you beat Beta Ray Bill, mm-hmm. and then you just started wrecking shit on Sakaar towards like no one can beat me until Thor came along. Yeah, and that's my thought is that. From Ragnarok, mm-hmm. two two full years at least of um being a a champion mm-hmm. battle arena, and not and even then, that when the Avengers, it's like oh if he ever kind of turned against us, what kind of can inflate your ego is you had to make a special Iron Man armor just to fight me. There's that. There's um the fact that they pull him out as the special weapon, like mm-hmm. that kind of would inflate your ego too. For the Battle of New York. Uh, anything. Battle of New York. Well, first scene in Age of Ultron mm-hmm. where they're all fighting uh, the yeah. final Hydra base. Um Basically, any time mm-hmm. that can inflate your ego, just the fact that he thinks he's strongest there is. Mm-hmm. Um, in that case, like then two years of fighting unbeaten, even when Thor, also one of the one of the strongest Avengers, mm-hmm. probably not the strongest. Um, go well, ahead and argue about it. Thor technically beat him. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Thor technically beat him. I mean, <laughs> if it weren't for the Grandmaster, it would have been really close of I more, mean, we've had that closer discuss- of a fight. We've had that discussion before, and there are people on both sides of the table exactly. that will argue That's why I'm not going to... I'm trying yeah. not to be like a one side <laughs> or the other. Um, Even though you're wearing a Thor shirt. Well, I mean, this is like... <laughs> ten, it was 11 bucks. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> I just, what, just, I'm just trying to say there are no biases here, There's Johnny. no biases. Wink, wink, nudge, it's nudge. It's not like I'm going to cosplay as the guy or something. <laughs> Anyways, mm-hmm. so that like two years of fighting that's gonna overinflate your ego. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, hey, we have a Hulk. What? Boom! Like you're starting to win that and fight. He got in some good. Two he got punches. some good. He got a few good licks uh-huh. in before Thanos just boom. Wham. Not just that. I'm gonna catch Bolt. It was Bolt kind hands. of like it almost reminded me of like the game you used to play as a kid. Oh, Mercy. Where it was like you'd lock hands up here. And then it's basically flip them, and it's like, how much can you take the pain, basically? Yeah, but that's and basi- who's inflicting the pain? That's basically what Thanos did, of like, oh, am I going to do it? 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 Yeah, you're fucked, kind then of a thing. Just, just it, the gut punch. Like a, a bunch of, mm-hmm. and then just turn the tides, basically knock them the fuck out. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that that's why he didn't want to come back. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, I'm too... At that point, he's too scared to come out. Mm-hmm. Do you think we see him in... Because I'm assuming Avengers 4... Most definitely. Either ends the arc or it gives us the definitive answer of like, okay, the arc ends. And either now we're at Professor Hulk or we're at the kind of resolution to... If we don't get Professor Hulk... How are these teams? Yeah, you gotta mute that phone, Johnny. Um, how are these two, the team of Banner and Hulk, going to work together? If it's not a Professor Hulk situation, what is that final situation that we get to that resolve it's, in Avengers 4? In my opinion, it's either gonna be Professor Hulk or it's just gonna be a nice balance of mm-hmm. the two where it's Do you like. Do we get Grey Hulk? I don't think we're going to go... I just feel like the MCU isn't focusing enough on Hulk to start mm-hmm. introducing that kind of story into it, too. So I think we're either going to get a Professor Hulk or just a nice balance of the two finally saying, mm-hmm. you know what, Hulk, we need to work together. You can come out when you ever need to, the times you want to, but you can't keep me bottled up just like I can't keep you bo- caged. Like, they can't cage each other. Mm-hmm. And the one thing that's interesting, and I'll read a little bit from the article that we're referencing, is... They bring up a great point of this could all resemble, if true, if, the, if Professor Hulk is what we're leading towards, mm-hmm. it can resemble a lot of the run in the comics by Peter David, where he was the one that explored the whole idea, and I'll read straight from the article. Um, the Hulk was born from Banner's 
childhood trauma. Mm -hmm. We're at the hands of his abusive father. Basically, hey, I'm going to suppress all that memory in the back. Do I expect Marvel and Disney to go that route? No. Mm -mm. But I I, I can see them going a route of, hey... I can't suppress you and use you. Kind of, I would ex- I would expect them to go more on the side of, hey, I got to treat you like you're one of my friends. And I can't just keep using you for my own personal gain because that's not what friends do. Mm-hmm. And this needs to be kind of an equal partnership. And I've got to work on it. But, I mean, it, it'll also be like, a, hey, you got to work on it too. Like, if I really need you, man. Like, because the whole thing is ever since Ruffalo came on, Whenever Banner talks about the Hulk, it was always the other guy, yeah. the other guy. It was never, oh, us. me when I'm, or us, but it was never like, oh, me when I'm hulked out. It was the other guy, the other guy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what the other guy's thinking. You'll have to talk to the other guy kind of a thing. I think it would be interesting to go towards a Professor Hulk kind thing. Like I think so, too. The thing I would, and I know that. With Mark Ruffalo, the big question is, I think after Avengers 4, I think he's got one movie left on his contract Okay. before it's up. I know that like Evans and Stark, well, Evans and Robert Downey Jr. Um, are the big ones that are up. I think it's Ruffalo that has one more because the thing that I know they promised him was the whole reason we're doing this like three movie arc is they said, instead of doing one standalone Hulk movie, we're just going to have you in these three movies, have this arc go over the three of them, and that kind of camera time will equal one movie. Mm -hmm. So you get one act in Ragnarok. You get another act in Infinity War. You get your final third act in... Avengers Endgame, Reassemble, whatever they're going to call it, Avengers 4. Um, Any final thoughts that you have on this before we move on? Is there anything that you think with Avengers 4 and Hulk that they could do or should do? Here's the thing I'll throw out to you, actually. Do you think there's a way, let's say it goes to, yeah, you know what, Ruffalo's got one more movie, but he might not come back. Instead of just recasting Bruce Banner for a third time, do you think there's a way down the line maybe we get like a Red Hulk where we get a different Hulk? Maybe if it's not Gray Hulk, it's Red Hulk or they bring in She-Hulk for some it part be, of it. Uh, you wouldn't do Gray Hulk because that's still an embodiment of Bruce Banner. So you would, would either bring in She-Hulk. Exactly. You'd have to you either She-Hulk it, you Red Hulk mm-hmm. it, and then you'd be bringing in Thunderbolt Ross. Or I think the last one I was going to say was you do a a strictly Hulk movie mm-hmm. where there is no banner. Yeah. But what I was going to say. Just the Hulk. Yeah. I don't know how you do that exactly because you. I feel like you would have to kind of flip in between once mm-hmm. in a while. But I don't know. That's the only. Those are the three possibilities because, I mean, you're not going to really use anyone else. The interesting thing that I think of. Is in this is a big what if if Ruffalo what if? if Ruffalo is done after Avengers four with being Bruce Banner mm-hmm. the thing I would lean towards as my guess for how Marvel's going to go at it would be a She Hulk route yeah and the reason why I say that is I'm going to tag this onto um, this part of the podcast is Kevin Feige has said recently that not only. Are they looking to do a Miss Marvel movie Mm -hmm. and kind of start that right away? When talking about um, the next phase of movies, because he says they have a five-year plan. They have their next five years worth of movies. So you think about it, that's like three, that's 15 movies at least. 15 to 20 movies planned out, whether if they're going to do three or four movies we also don't know what their Avengers lineup is going to be, how they're going to change that. If they get the Fox X-Men, how does that change the Avengers yeah, lineup? Exactly. But I would lean towards if Ruffalo's like, yeah, you know what, after this next movie, I'm done. I would lean towards a She-Hulk because one of the things Feige did mention was that, hey, we want to go through in our next phase having a lot more female directors come in and do stuff. So what a better way to do that than basically Wonder Woman it, where we're going to have a She-Hulk movie and it's going to be directed by this female director and link that up. Or like, we're going to have this Miss Marvel movie. It's going to be directed by this fantastic um, female director. So out of that, that's why I would lean towards She-Hulk. Yeah. 
Although I don't think that like unless I hear an article where it's like, oh, Bruce Banner or Mark Ruffalo might be done as Bruce Banner. I'm not going to assume he's done. The two that I'm going to no, assume I wouldn't assume either. Are the, Evans and Stark. Yeah. Any final thoughts before we move on? Um, my, the one thing I was going to say is um, to do with the Hulk in um, the, what the, whatever the fourth movie is going to be called mm-hmm. um, would be nice. And they describe in this article as well um, where he talks to uh, psychologist Doc mm-hmm. Samson. Okay. And like maybe you have like a small scene where. Okay, like Tony, like goes. Okay, Bruce, get in there and go talk to him. You need, you two need to figure this out because mm-hmm. we, like, we need the Hulk. Like, as a post credit scene, or you're talking about a scene in the a movie. scene in the movie. Okay, because uh, they need the Hulk mm-hmm. back, and I, I can see Tony um, or Robert Downey Jr. with his snarkiness going. You need to get in there. Mm-hmm. We need the big green guy. We, you two need to. We need the big guy. You two need to figure this out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Points at Bruce with two fingers. With two fingers. You two need to figure this out. Mm-hmm. Get in there. And then it's just them hashing it out with the therapist, which you had said is Samson. Which is really funny because I, th- if, and correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. or maybe even you For remember. For audio listeners, Johnny's telling you to correct him, not yeah. me. Yeah. Um, because you point to the camera. And I, I always, did. I always think the audio listeners, we got to start thinking about them a little I, bit I more. I keep forgetting that they can't see that. <laughs> um um, anyone, just correct me. Um, mm-hmm. I believe in the Incredible Hulk, which is the one with, um, not Erica Bana, what's the other one? Edward Norton. Mm-hmm. That there was Doc Samson in there. The first one Doc- you said, the Bana one, that's the Ang Lee one, right? Yeah. We, okay. We, the one we do not speak of? The one, well, we accept that it happened and <laughs> try and move on. Okay. Because technically the Edward Norton one references that. Mm-hmm. And we can't say it doesn't, it's not mm-hmm. there if there's film footage <laughs> anyways back to the more positive no yeah. <laughs> i believe dr samson was in there okay um she when bruce was missing she was uh betty was dating her okay yes i'm trying to betty see. ross was dating dr samson if you can find the imdb for that That's one real quick up right now um the 2008 hulk movie i'm looking at the cast list right now um, I see a Samuel Stearns. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe that's the doctor. And... Yes, because I'm not, I'm seeing a Bruce Banner, Betty Ross, um, Bond Sky, uh, Emil Bond Sky. Then you got Thunderbolt Ross, Samuel Stern, um, Leonard, Major Kathleen Sparr. Um, you've got Lou Ferrigno was the security guard and the voice of the Incredible Hulk. Mm-hmm. Um, you have another general, you have Stanley. Not Stan Lee, but an actual character first name Stan Lee. Um, I think it's Samuel Stearns. <laughs> okay, is who you're. Maybe no, Stan- Samuel Stearns is the guy who played um, leader. He was going to become leader. Okay, no, that's not him. I was talking. There's actually someone dating Betty Ross. Well, mm-hmm. anyways, let them or let them correct me then if I'm wrong. I want to say it's the Leonard character that Maybe. was dating her, because um, he looks like the guy that was dating her in the. Um, in the movie, but yeah. they can correct us. Correct if we're me, wrong. please. That's why yeah, we I don't have remember. them. They're, they are our fact checkers. Seeing, especially since my IMDb won't load. And I can't, <laughs> I, they always tell us when we are wrong, but this is when you guys come in. Let us know what you think down below in the comment section. What do you think about Hulk? What do you think about Avengers moving forward and the entire MCU? Let us know down below in that comment section. 